The history of condoms in 60 seconds, not to scale. The first documented use of the condom was when King Minos of Crete used the bladder of a goat to protect his wife from the serpents and scorpions in his semen. Italian Gabrielle Fallopio recommended the use of linen sheaths soaked in a chemical solution and dried. They covered the glands of the penis and held on with a ribbon. King Charles II's doctor prescribed him a sheath made of lamb's intestine because the king was troubled by his number of illegitimate children. The doctor was called Colonel Condom. Soldiers contracted syphilis from the use of prostitutes and it was a common cause of fatality. Condoms made from fish, cattle and sheep intestine were deployed to the army. Rubber condoms invented. More war, which meant more condoms on the German side and more syphilis and gonorrhea on the American and British side. Latex condoms invented. Condoms lost popularity because of the pill and a perceived lower risk of STIs because of antibiotics. The discovery of AIDS increased condom popularity and there were many educational campaigns promoting their use. And in 2015, approximately 18 billion condoms were used. And now it's 2018 and we've got loads of different types of condoms. So we've got uh, ribbed and dotted, latex free, because some people are allergic to latex, comfort extra large, uh, flavored. This one's got mint, bubblegum, banana, and strawberry. You can also get edible condoms, but they are like novelty only. You can't actually use those to protect against STIs because you eat them off. And then some glow in the dark ones. I don't really want to show you because once you start exposing it to light, it starts working and I don't know if it will then like work again. So we've got to, you know, keep it in its dark case. But yeah, do you like my timeline? I feel like, my living room has turned into a primary school classroom. I'm very proud of it. I can't stop staring. If you didn't know what this one says, it is, I'm serious about love. I use condoms. And that is from condom using awareness campaigns during the 1980s. Lovely. So yeah, this video has been sponsored by Public Health England's Protect Against STIs campaign, which is all about raising awareness of the risks of STIs, sexually transmitted infections. Specifically about chlamydia and gonorrhea, which are the most prevalent STIs in England, especially amongst young people. 59% of chlamydia and gonorrhea diagnoses. Diagnoses, that word? We're gonna go with that that's a word in 2016 were in 15 to 24 year olds. So that's quite a lot. And if left untreated, STIs can cause very serious health risks, such as pelvic inflammatory disease, never heard of that, doesn't sound pleasant, infertility and ectopic pregnancy in women, and even meningitis. Yeah, doesn't sound great. Gonorrhea is becoming harder and harder to treat now because of the antibiotic resistance. Super gonorrhea, which not so super for us humans. But basically, despite condoms being a pretty incredible contraceptive and way of avoiding STIs, a lot of people do not use them when they have sex with someone for the first time. Public Health England actually did a survey of 2,000 young people and found out a bunch of stuff about attitudes towards condoms and STIs. So almost half of young people who have had sex have done so with someone for the first time without a condom, and one in 10 sexually active 16 to 24 year olds have never used a condom. And there seems to be a lot of misconceptions around condoms as well. For example, one in three 16 to 24 year olds think that carrying condoms gives off the impression that you sleep around, which it doesn't. It should just give off the impression that you're super smart and you um, value your sexual health and your partner's sexual health. The main reasons that young people gave for not using condoms were the perception that it doesn't feel good, that it's not necessary because they're on other contraception, or getting drunk and forgetting. If you live in England and you're under 25, it is recommended that you get tested every year or every time you change sexual partner. And believe me, getting tested is not scary at all. The doctors and nurses see people all of the time, they hear all of the questions, they see all of the genitals, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. Also, you can get home test kits so that you can do at home and send off to get your results. It is really important to know the status of your sexual health and consistently and correctly using condoms can significantly reduce your risk. I've even done a video in the past, I think it is from an episode of The Hormone Diaries, where I take you along with me to get checked at an SDI clinic, and they're free in the UK. Condoms are 100% the best thing to protect you and your partner from STIs. Other contraceptions such as the pill or the coil can only protect you from pregnancy. Anyone who doesn't use a condom can get an STI. So protect yourselves against STIs, use 
a condom. There are so many fun ones to choose from. Like, go get yourself checked out at the STI clinic and pick up some free condoms whilst you're there. Would recommend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, especially for my crafting, my arts and crafting. I'm genuinely so proud, I'm not taking this down. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload next. Bye. Thank you.